Good day. In this video, we're going to look at a grade 12 geometry rider. Before we answer the questions, let's look what is given. They gave us half a circle here. They're not saying it, so they say O is the midpoint of the circle or the center. They tell you that OT is parallel to QR. That they indicated over there. They're telling us that OT is 8, so I'll write that in now. You must now see that this, these two purple lines are equal because they are radii. You should know that that angle over there is 90 degrees, angles in a semicircle, and because these two lines are parallel, these corresponding angles will also be equal. And then you can see a triangle with a set of parallel lines in, so I can use the ratios. The first question asks, determine the ratio of PR over PT. So PR over PT. The first thing we know is that PO is equal to OQ because of radii. I told you that just now. Then we know that TO is parallel to RQ. That was given in the beginning. So then we know that PT is equal to TR. That one is equal to that one because of the midpoint theorem. The, mid the midpoint theorem says if you find the middle of one side of a triangle and from it you draw a parallel to the second side of a triangle, it will bisect the third side of the triangle. So remember we said that the two radii are equal, so we can say it's a 1e to 1e, we just use letters there. So this, this other side, and then this side will be 1 to 1. We just put these letters in as ratios. Then we can get our answer, PR over PT will be 2 to 1. That whole one is two units to the one unit over there. So it's two to one is the final answer here. Next they ask us to work out the length of RQ, so the length of that line. We know that RQ is two times TO, again because of the midpoint theorem. So this one is the half of that one, or this one is double that one. So RQ will be equal to 16. And I fill that in on my sketch. The next question asks, determine the length of the radius if PR is 30. Then we will say, in triangle PRQ, PRQ, this triangle, angle R is 90 degrees, angled in a half circle, in a semicircle. Then, from Pythagoras, we know that PQ squared is equal to QR squared plus PR squared. We fill in the numbers. Using a calculator, we work out that PQ is 34, so from there to there is 34. But they asked us the length of the radius. So the radius is PQ divided by 2, and that will be 17 units. The last piece of this question says, determine the ratio of the area of PTO to the area of PRQ. Don't get a fright because I turned the picture. I just want to show you the one triangle is this green one here. And the other triangle is the purple one there. In this case, the formula of the triangle will be half base times height for him and half base times height for him. And for the green triangle, it will be the half of TO and there's my perpendicular height over there. And for the bigger triangle, it will be half of this bottom RQ times by the PR going up here. You fill in the dimensions, simplify them separately. And if you finally simplify it, you'll get a ratio of 1 to 4, because you can divide 60 in here once, and in there 4 times. So the answer of the ratio of the area of this triangle to the area of this triangle is a 1 to 4 ratio. Please stop the video and just get your brain around this. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video, and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy geometry.